Okay. You're scaring me, O'Neill. Well, this is the doctor that Lillian recommended. Hey, Rila. really hoping I would never see you again. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, likewise. But I'm glad. I need your help. The other doctor told me he wanted me to abort my baby. Yeah, well, the other doctor didn't realize that uh, we were going to do things your way. Sit down. Let's talk. Thanks. Let's work that out. All I know is that I want to see this pregnancy through to term, and that is non-negotiable. There are new studies every day that give great hope to pregnant women with cancer. Okay, go on. I know you're nervous and you're protective of this baby. If you enlist me as your doctor, I'll promise you this, I'll have two patients, you and your child. Can you promise me that the chemo won't do any harm to the baby? I can't promise that 100%, but I can tell okay, you well, that then Riva, then it was really good to see you. Riva, Riva, just hear him out, please. Okay. Doc, well me. The good news is there are some new studies on our side. Doctors are more comfortable now prescribing chemo for pregnant women, as long as the patient is in her second trimester. So what would the first step be? Well, to start, we would refer you to an OBGYN who has experience uh, in cases like these. And your OB and I will go through this thing hand in hand. So you'll have a whole team, Reva, your own crew. Mm, kind of like NASCAR. <laughs> yes. I guess you could look at it like that. And, of course, we'll give you the chemo that's least likely to affect the fetus. You'd be pumping my body full of poison, and that goes against everything that I was told at the onset of this pregnancy. Uh, Reva, all pregnancies have risks, even normal ones. The trick is to minimize those but risks. But I can't eat a tuna sandwich, and yet you're saying it's okay to put toxins in my blood. The placenta is an amazing piece of work. The levels of chemotherapy agents uh, found in the mother's blood do not correspond to the levels found in the placenta or the amniotic fluid or the, or the baby itself. In plain English, it's, it's a miracle. You know. well, I just, I, I feel like there have to be exceptions. Like there's this giant butt coming. Well, there are exceptions. There's a slightly elevated risk that uh, the child could be stillborn or low birth weight, but those numbers are statistically very low. Reva's in her second trimester, so could we start the chemo right away? Yes, and the goal is complete remission. That means no leukemia cells in your bone marrow, which will happen when your platelets and your white cells... You have no children, right? Right. Okay. So uh, what I want to know is that if this were you, if this were your baby and you were in my shoes, would you do this? Reva, I don't think that's appropriate. No, it's okay. I, I'd be doing exactly what you're doing, which is asking a lot of questions. This is a big consideration. Well, I liked him. I mean, I really liked him. Is it going to be okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel safe with him. Hi, Josh. What are you guys doing here? Uh, Josh, um... Uh, there's this thing we got to get going to, uh, but uh, we'll talk to you later. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, uh, same to the uh, two of you. I, I guess I should say the three of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, Reva, by the way, uh, just so you know, I got an email from Shane. How is he? Uh, well, that's a good question, but uh, it looks like he's not going to be able to be here for Thanksgiving. Was there even a chance? Well, yeah, I, I assumed that Mara had talked to you about it. Both of them were going to try to be here, but um, he's not going to be able to make it. So I'm uh, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I'll see you. Brina.
Don't you think we should talk about what the doctor said today? I'm not going to see my kids for Thanksgiving. Which kind of makes me wonder whether I'll ever see them for a holiday ever again. Don't go there. But then, I mean, why should they feel obligated to come home when I was such a terrible parent? The doctor. I disappeared. I did. I totally disappeared on Mara and Shane when they were little kids. I had no control over that. I didn't. But I just... I. I need to do it different this time. I'm getting this second chance now. I've got to do it right. Those were different circumstances. Really, you're fighting for your life. I won't do the chemo. Why not? You heard what the doctor said. The odds are in our favor. If there's even a 1% chance that it's going to harm the baby, that's 1% too much. And I won't take that chance. I won't. I have to do it right this time. I have to raise this baby the right way, which means I do it my way. Your way. I, yeah. Well, what that's about my, my no way? No more. I don't. I don't, don't want to talk. Vote because Look, you know what? I'm the man. Because, because I don't. My the baby is doesn't. Valid, it's yours. Can we they? not have this stress? Really, it's not good. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. You coming? No, I think I'll stay down here. 